Hey, back again to new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel. And this is Poco F5 Custom ROM. Is back with another video. Guys. This is a top class custom ROM available for Poco F5 or the Redmi Note 12 Turbo. This is the Xiaomi EU. As you can see, version HyperOS 1.0.2.0 UMRC and XM Stable Edition for Poco F5, guys. And you can see the specifications here into the detail info and specs you can see hyper is 1.0.2.0 xiaomi eu android version is 14 uh, security patch and kernel used here is 5.10.177 and 12.9001 kernel has been used baseband version you can see and the security patch is still january but still it's a stable release from xiaomi eu uh, for hyper os for poco f i guess and i have used this ram extended up to 8 gb this is the version details and this is the settings i'll start with the settings only see the smoothness it's really really smooth in this particular room you guys can see here starting with the additional settings you get date and time here you can set the here time format you can select here use location based time on dual clock if you want to use that's going to work fine you need to select here if you want to use dual clock and we'll go into second clock and select the yeah that's how it is i'll disable for some reason right now and language and input again languages you get native languages you can pause the video and check out is your language is available or not yeah these are the languages available right now and current keyboard is zboard I mean the Google keyboard. That's how it is, and the accessibility menu again you get that handy feature without actually using the physical button. You can actually see the recent volume up and down you can do here. That's an handy feature. You must definitely try it out. There are some other options also. Vision, hearing. You need to go through this once you flash this particular ROM gesture shortcuts again you get plenty here to launch the google assistant you can press and hold the power button continuously for 5.5 seconds partial screenshot press and hold with three fingers that is partial screenshot take a full screenshot you get both the options here launch the camera if you want to keep it a shortcut you can do that using the gestures even for turning on the flashlight back tap gesture is available double tap for launch the google assistant and triple tap to use any of the thing you can adjust here triple tap i'll make uh, take a screenshot let's try this launch google assistant for double tap yeah you need to unlock maybe yeah now let's try the google assistant is not available even triple tap is not available here yeah taking screenshot double tap opening google assistant that's fine working fine you need to tap near this area hardly little bit harder yeah those are the gestures what we got here and double tap fingerprint sensor if you want to keep any uh, gesture shortcut you can do that and quick ball again turn this on you can select the shortcuts these are the five major things you get you can change here if you want to change as you can see this is a quick ball as you can see this is how it looks the quick ball and you can choose some of the settings from here moving into one handed mode again that's an handy as you can now yeah isn't it working as of now one handed mode should work but for some reason okay you need to swipe like this yeah it is working fine no problem regarding that floating windows again it's an handy feature sidebar if you want to show always you can enable that as you can see yeah it's here you will get these apps from here every time you can turn it on or if you want smart suggestion you can even turn this on these are all the additional settings what we get here yeah floating windows memory extension of 8 gb already said you second space is given account and sync is given there the enterprise mode is also given these are the additional settings what we get screen time again this is a digital well-being uh, battery you get four different modes here select according to your usage while gaming select performance mode on majority of the time use balance when you are outside and you want to 
very good battery life then you can use battery saver and battery checkup here this is going to security feature again additional features you get all this option 5g battery saver night time mode this is the things what we can get here it's cool a little bit updated compared to previous one apps again system app settings you get here default apps also you can make it out from here as you can see other settings yeah default apps we want uh, for example colored id and spam nothing has been selected as of now you need to select those things gallery again select this like that you can select the default apps from here and privacy protection again these are the options you get individually you can select from here safety and emergency again you get some region specific options like earthquake alerts and emergency location service emergency services those are present here regarding the face fingerprint unlock let's check that out this is a physical fingerprint scanner just touch it gets unlocked and now let's check the face unlock as you can see it's also very quick to unlock your smartphone using that and this is a new wallpaper guys let me enable this one again i want to yeah silent mode is on now silent mode is turned off anyhow let's press and hold here wallpapers you get this new the moon super wallpaper is currently present here and other wallpapers are also pre-included here no need to worry regarding that and these other wallpapers static wallpapers remain same here nothing fancy widgets again app hold recommended and categories it takes some time for first time and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys i will be motivated to make similar kind of videos so you get a plenty of uh, widgets into the categories again you get dog also let me add here itself yeah add widget download this let me turn this on here yeah. now it need to be downloaded actually i don't know what's the yeah anyhow you can even edit this icons here information you can see and edit option is there this is all the home screen customizations you get you can completely change the icon of the particular uh, icons here and tools you get all the basic tools here uh, everything is working fine no need to worry regarding that let me continue the settings again here sound and torch again you get all the options here provide video for incoming calls sound effects are there dolby atmos is there xiaomi sound is there equalizer are given headphone remote assist buttons are given no headphone detected and the guys quality of the headphones are good We're using that 3.5 mm headphone jack no problem regarding that too these are the sound settings we get and touch settings if you slide here you get all these settings here critical feedback realistic sound both options are given haptic feedback level also you can adjust which is good here display and brightness again here the brightness is yeah now a little bit easier to this is the quick settings toggles in the edit section there are few as you can see the nfc is available toggle no there's an eu rom still the nfc toggle is not available here for some reason dark mode it looks like this and individually you can select the apps and switch to dark mode and adjust text and backs backgrounds to dark theme sunlight mode is given auto brightness given color scheme is saturated and kept warm i personally selected that reading mode again you can adjust the intensity and schedule them refresh rate custom you get up to 120 keep it default adaptive refresh rate ai imagine engine just a super hdr enhancement ai is given font settings again that's it and check out the flashing method video in the description what firmware i used where we need to download this all those things in the description now moving into home screen customization with app drawer is available here and plenty of options light mode classic mode are given minus one skin app drawer google discover uh, app world settings if you want to turn this off you can do that home screen search bar you get just one option here double tap to lock screen and add hide app icons you can do that home screen layout up to 16 to 7 is given 
don't show text if one you can enable that system navigation gestures and button and some actions you can see animation speed you get three relaxed balance and fast and horizontal vertical is given nothing kind of ios style or anything like that this is how the home screen customization and moving into notification status bar everything is same here nothing fancy uh, all these options you get collapse after touch if you want you can enable that status bar icons again hide notch battery indicator and other things are simple and same here and lock screen customizations again i'll show you that within a while and wallpapers and personalization here as you can see these are the lock screen customizations are given here you can also customize them add the filter here yeah allow the matte effect if you want and depth also apply this and okay super wallpaper is kept on turn on the uh, always on display here this one is turned on and icons again you can select this kind of colors fonts effects notification effect other things you can see themes again let's revert back to theme section wallpapers as i said there are plenty of wallpapers and this is the other settings what we can get here it's smooth no problem whatsoever as you can see the ui is really really smooth now let me unlock this and this is always on display and this is how it looks like this doggy should be working but i don't know why it's not working anyhow that's a minor bug and we'll show some results before that we get some apps like recorder here and in the options you get these kind of options now you can select the type here and you can delete them earpiece mode is also given the formats you can check out and gallery application will open here and show the results yeah playing cricket and all some videos i was editing anyhow this is the internet speed what i got from uh, wi-fi and you get these options here recognize text create pdf copy productive wallpaper set as well but recognize table is not given this is the internet speed what i got for it 5g plus i mean it uh, geo true 5g i'm using as you can see and this is the safety and status result everything get passed here and level one certified and dolby vision support is there and this is a read rate speed test and 11.30 single score, 4252 multi score, lanes 5.10.77 is the kernel used and 7.33095 GPU score is somehow hidden here. 4 degrees Celsius is the temperature, is 3% of battery has been dropped during this testing, and this is the turbo charging effect. And while charging, you will get this dynamic island kind of style. This is the Xiaomi Hyper OS, guys. Uh, everything is working fine. Let's see the app opening. And this is the dialer you get, you get call recording feature here. As you can see, it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call. Let me show you. Direct video call feature is also available. You can record the call and turn off from here. This is how the ROM is performing really, really good. Let me show the app opening time here. And camera, you get proper HyperOS camera, as you can see. But in the video mode, you just get 4K, 30, no 60 option. And in the more photo mode again these are the options what you get and in the more you get similar to any other Xiaomi app that's how it is and we'll show some of the apps also security and into the settings these are the things you get these are the recent apps the smoothness is really really there uh, it's a fast UI very good UI you can definitely use it as a delta already many people are using this uh, it's smooth and you will get the updates until some uh, months later you won't get the updates this is the use table update for poco f i guess and if you have any specific questions you can comment down in the comment section let's see what are the graphics settings we get and how it handle in this xiaomi u stable edition of this hyperbus you guys can check out the graphic settings as obviously smooth plus 90 fs is given ultra hdr options hdr you will get that options and you get this game turbo mode here performance mode is activated and this one you get make it bright and saturated and again it's a personal preference recording feature is there voice changer feature is also there here that's how it works like turn off screen is available let's see how we handle in this particular row There was a lag a little bit 
have you can notice or not It is fine, but there was initial lag. Again, game compatibility also important here. And this is the thing what I'm getting here with Wi-Fi. If I can turn this into mobile data, let's check that. As you can see, 5G plus and the ping it's still 20. It's again depends, guys, in your local area. And there's a quick setting toggles. Here you can see the notifications. This of the echo battery results. What I am getting, you can get some idea of battery life. Let's rush somewhere. Oh, anyhow, I'll come in back here. The gaming experience is not up to the mark here, but definitely. It takes some time and the game optimization also sometimes depends case and you get some pre-installed browser app here and me video also available game turbo me video gallery health options those are working fine no problem here as you can see now this is stable ROM available as of now for uh, Poco F5 guys that to use stable it was around 5 GB if you don't know how to install through given link just go to browser here and select xiaomi eu xiaomi eu yeah search that first option source force whatever or second option also here weekly releases you can check out there and this one you can check out here if the device is not available go to other version this one here you will find out marble is our device here also not available so i was uh, looking for stable here yeah stable releases here you get it 1.0 you can see the marble wherever it is present that's our device the poco f5 probably topaz are given marble if you can find out yeah here it is download this version and i'll be giving this copy link text in the description you can directly download that this is how you need to download the file and reboot to recover and flash the customer room the flashing method is also given in the description do check out guys this is my review this sampath samfax signing off will meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now